Lisa from the Dog Play and the Dog Learning Centre. I'm here with another vlog and today we're going to be talking about certain aspects of raising puppies. So a lot of people have gone out over the past two lockdowns and have gotten themselves either a new dog to their home or they've brought a puppy home. Um, some people have had dogs all their days and other people, um, they're bringing this dog home and it's brand new to them. It's a new concept. Um, we are here because we want to train people, we want to teach people about their dogs so that you can live as harmonious a life as possible with them. We are sharing our homes with another species and it isn't all plain sailing. Um, one of, not to be disrespectful, but one of my favourite sayings is when people say to me, well I've had dogs all my days. Well, you know, I've been growing my hair all my days, it doesn't make me a hairdresser. Um, I might have had dogs all my days but what they suggested that we did and how we train dogs in the 80s is different to the 90s, to the noughties and to where we are now. So it, it can be quite complex. There's a plethora of information out there. You just need to hit Google to be absolutely bamboozled and not know what you need to do. But two of the most important factors for raising any dog um, from puppyhood onwards is to always make sure that you are not over exercising them and that they get enough rest. So they have this old rule of it's five minutes exercise for every month of the puppy's life and that's a fantastic thing to stick to because puppies, their bones are soft, uh, growing constantly and if you over exercise that there's quite a bit of damage that you can do that you cannot reverse. So never over exercise your puppy and sleep. Sleep is majorly important. Puppies need to be sleeping a minimum of 18 hours a day. A minimum of 18 hours a day. They absolutely need to be getting 18 hours a day. If you're over exercising your puppy and your puppy's not getting enough sleep, think of them pretty much like a toddler. So if we've got a toddler that's, you know, had a really busy and eventful, exciting day and couple that we're not getting enough sleep, you tend to have temper tantrums and we see a lot of behaviours that isn't perhaps usual for the child or the dog. Um, so these factors are a health issue. In order to keep you sane and to keep your dog healthy in the mind they absolutely must rest um, I know certainly for myself if I don't get enough sleep I withdraw into myself but in my mind I'm an absolutely grumpy beast because I don't have the same tolerance I will respond in ways I wouldn't normally if I was running on a full tank of gas so to speak so exercise and rest is absolutely essential and a must for your dogs for your puppies um, it doesn't matter what age the dog, dogs need to rest, but certainly for a puppy it is really, really important. So those are the two things that you really want to ensure you are getting right. 